Hello, I'm Sky Taylor and welcome to Tips and Tricks number 23. Today we're going to talk about the mystery of this little bag of wood that comes attached to the back of the canvas. What is it? The first time I saw the wood wedges was in the 60s and came up with the conclusion they were tiny pieces of firewood to be used to incinerate your painting if it came out bad and just plain old stank. My mom was an artist in the 1930s and 40s and set me straight with her wisdom. The wood pieces, she reasoned, were used to prop up a table leg to prevent your tube of paints from rolling off the table. My mom said that most artists were pleasingly plump and this saved them from bending over and doing damage to body parts they just don't use when painting. My dad, who never painted a picture in his life and his only formal experience with art came from the pages of Playboy, reasoned that the wedges were to be put in the corners of the back of the canvas to make them tighter. Ha! Mom and I laughed! Ha ha! What did he know? Thirty years later, we found out Dad was right. Mom said Dad was never right, and she took it as a sign from God to quit smoking. The table now wobbles as we collected all the wood to tighten our paintings. The moral of the story? Don't read Playboy. Well, we figured out that these little wood pieces, they're called keys, are designed to be put in the back of the canvas in the corners to tighten it up. Well, what's the right way to do it? And what's the wrong way to do it? Well, technically there's two ways to put these keys in. Neither of them are really wrong, but technically, if you go back to the old masters, they do it a lot different than some of these videos that are out showing their way of doing it. I see some canvas companies showing a certain way of doing it, and technically that's not what the old masters did. If you Google it and you look at the back of canvases, you'll see that the way that I'm going to suggest is probably the correct way to do it, although you'll probably get the same results whether, either way. So technically you're not wrong, but if you want to be kind of a little bit more right, <laughs> old master right, I'll show you the way to do it. Why don't you peek over my shoulder? Now, I just want to tell you something. I very rarely get canvases with these wood uh, these wood keys on it. I, I just don't. Not too many of them. So, these won't even fit the canvas I'm going to show you, but I'll show you different ways if you peek over my shoulder on how to put these in. And all you'd need would be a little ball-peen hammer to pop them in. So, But peek over my shoulder and I'll show you the different ways on how to put them in. Okay, we have a canvas here and I'm going to show you how to put in these wooden keys, the proper way to do it. Now, if you turn the canvas on a corner here, you're going to see that there are two slots, one below and one above. Now, for demonstration purposes, the keys that I'm using aren't really for this canvas. They are a little bit oversized, but it will visually show you a little bit better uh, exactly how this goes together. I'll be able to demonstrate it a little bit better. Okay, what do we do? Now, many videos are out there that will show you how to put the wooden keys in, but are they correct? Uh, not really. What they're showing you in the other videos is this, and if you're doing this, you might want to reconsider. You take the long end and you put it in the back hole, like that. You take the other long end and put it in the top hole, like that. And you pound it with a ball-peen hammer on each side. And what that's supposed to do, and it still works, it does still a very good job, it, it separates the wood right here, leaving a gap. And when it leaves the gap, it actually stretches the canvas. But is this the right way to do it? Uh, not really. Uh, a lot of the old masters do it this way. Now, you could, you could choose any way you want to do it, but here's the way I would do it. Okay. 
me show you the hole here. You take the small end right here and you turn it toward the canvas and go down and hit the back hole. You see how that goes? It's sitting on an angle like this. Then you take this other small end right here and you run it along this way and go in the top hole just like that. So it should basically look like that when you are done. And then you take your ball peen hammer and tap this in, tap this side in until you get the gap and it stretches the bars to tighten up the canvas. And you would do this all the way around. This is what the old masters do. Now, if you want to tighten up canvas, there's even an easier way. And if you don't want to use these, you don't have to, but it looks cool. It gives it more of a crafty look, looks like a, a real, real great painting. You know, like a uh, good quality painting when you do it the right way. Now, if you want to tighten up your canvas, there's another way to do it. If you have saggy canvas, spray the back of it with water. Then take a hair dryer and blow it dry. And what that does is because cotton will um, shrink with the hair dryer, it actually tightens up the canvas. So you can tighten up canvases. And if you get a little, a little bump on the other side of the canvas, same thing. Spray your water on the back side of it and take a hair dryer and blow it dry. It will shrink. Well, there you have it. The mystery of the wooden keys are solved. Now, whether you choose to do it like the old masters or do it like the canvas companies want you to do it, it's your choice. Either way, it's going to work. But the old master way is just a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. And like I said, you don't have to use the wooden bars if you don't want to. Hey, personal choice. Thank you very much for watching my videos, and don't forget, folks, to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Lots of great stuff coming up. We're going to do some painting demonstrations and just lots and lots of information you don't want to miss out. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you hated the video, hey, give me a thumbs up anyways. Thank you very much. We'll talk to you real soon on the next Tips and Tricks. Cheers, folks. Bye.